Hi, this is Cherie with Rehash Fiber. Today we're gonna to talk about spinning wool and two ways to do it, woolen or worsted. And I'm gonna simplify it all for you. Welcome all you fiber artists. All right, we're gonna talk about spinning. If you're not a spinner, you can still hang out and see what I'm talking about. And I invite you to learn to spin because it is tremendously fun and it is just physically healthful for you. And it's just great. All right, but for you spinners, if you're a beginner, just keep on spinning and enjoy that. And when you get to the point where you want to start to create your yarn for something in particular, then I'm gonna help you with that right now. We're gonna discuss woolen and worsted yarn preparation and why you would do either or. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm going to just cover it lightly. If you are a technical person and love to know lots of detail about something, then I'm gonna guide you to this fantastic resource, Ply Magazine. Entire magazines dedicated to woolen and worsted. You wanna look for issue three and issue seven. Every bit of it is focused on that. For me, I am just a regular happy spinner and too many details sometimes will feel like my brain is gonna blow up. So I kinda keep it simple, but I still produce what I need for what I'm going for. All right, so we're gonna jump right in to woolen. The reason you would want to spin woolen is if you want something fluffy and warm because this preparation is just going to have more air between your fibers, which is why it's warm because when it's on you, the air can be trapped and keep you warm. The true, true way to do it per the professionals is you wanna do long draw from a roll egg. It is to do with the fibers laying sideways and spinning. Now that is what I'm saying a professional is saying is true. For me, to get the job done, I used a bat of wool. It was a blue Trexler and I just tore off bits of the bat and did the spin. And I'm gonna show you that right now. To show you how I spin woolen, I have here a bat of wool that I prepared and I have just torn off a bit here. Now there's three things I do in particular when I wanna spin woolen is I have a lower ratio. I have this set on eight to one. I treadle a little bit slower and then I use the short backward draft. What I wanna do is put enough twist in the fiber to hold it together, but to not give it too much energy. So doing the short backward draft I'm just holding it, pulling it back, letting the twist go in, and then letting it go right onto the bobbin. This is not a perfect spin as far as perfect with yarn. There might be some thicker spots, some bumps might go through. That's okay. When I'm doing woolen, I just expect a wooly, thick, fluffy yarn. Now there's something I wanna show you here for if you wanna check gauge. It's really handy to have this gauge checker. Now what you wanna do is just let this ply back on itself and then you can lay it across and see if you're on track for where you wanna be. I find it super handy. This I'm going for a worsted weight. Even though I'm spinning the yarn woolen, I want it as thick as a worsted weight. So for like an eight, nine or 10 needle. And here's another tip. If you need to spin thicker, then don't draft out as much. Go ahead and let more be in there. Let the spin take hold. If you need it to be a thinner yarn, 
you need to just draft it out so it's really thin. You can see there how it gets thinner. So you just can't make something thick if it's not thick. So just don't draft out too far. All right, so with woolen, your yarn is not going to be as strong as if it were worsted. There's not going to be the luster. You will not get stitch definition and you won't get the drape. However, these are great for certain things. You wanna make a hat. I have a hat in mind for this. So I do want it fluffy and warm. Now for worsted, worsted would be used for if you want something strong or hard wearing, so say socks, or you want a cardigan that is not as warm for maybe um, the warmer seasons, you want a light little cardigan spun worsted. Now for these, I did go for different weight gauges. Um, this one I, I naturally spin thin, so I just went ahead and did this my natural way. This needed to be thicker. So don't gauge it on how thick you see this, but just more how you see the fibers laying. All right, and for this one, the professionals will say a true worsted is combed and then dizzed off. Okay, so take a look on how I spin the worsted, and I'll give you a few tips there. To spin wool worsted, I have combed it and then dizzed it off the combs to have a nice combed top. Now the things that I do differently is I'm gonna have a faster whirl speed. So right now I'm 11 to one ratio, and that is gonna put more twist in the fiber. I'm also going to draft short forward. And what I'm gonna do is you see how the fiber goes between my thumb and my finger getting smoothed out and I'm drafting forward and just getting a good twist in there. And for this, I'm not trying to get any size yarn. I'm going just with whatever comes natural to me. So you see the drafting is nice and you have a nice smooth compact yarn. So this is really helpful because this is your wraps per inch, but this is for the finished. So if you wanna go lace all the way to super bulky, you saw how when I was demonstrating, I just let it ply back on itself and could lay it across here and check my gauge that I'm spinning along the way. Because if you are aiming for something that you want to be a certain way and keep it consistent, it's always good to just check periodically to make sure you're doing that. So another key tip is you cannot spin thicker yarn if you draft out too much. You can't make something there that isn't. So if you want a thicker yarn, you just have to not draft it as much, leave some of that fiber there and let that get spun to make it thicker. And if you're gonna go thin, then just draft away and go as thin as you want. Well, I hope that explains to you a little bit better on the difference between woolen and worsted and that you have a better idea on how you can create that for yourself. And also don't forget, you can get all the full details at Ply Magazine, phenomenal. All right, so let's have a little bit of fiber talk fun. I had mentioned to you that I was trying to hold an in-person gathering for the prayer shawls for God's Work, Our Hands Sunday with the Evangelical Lutheran Church of America. It doesn't look like that's gonna happen this year, uh, but we have all of us, and I know I'm gonna do it. I found a prayer shawl pattern to do that I'm pretty excited about. It's called On the Wings of a Prayer, and I will find out how you can get it, and I will put it in the description of this show in case you want to make a prayer shawl. Also, if you're looking for a place for your prayer shawl to go, uh, go to the website, rehashfiber.com, and on there is the address of the church that I give mine to. Um, however, if you can just do it for anybody that you want to, still the concept of doing something with love and care for somebody else.
Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention to you is that if sometimes you see I've repeated the same story, um, well then I want to thank you so much for watching enough that you're seeing me repeat some stories. Uh, the reason I've done that, and I do keep track of what I talk about so that it's not going to be repeated a hundred times, uh, but I do that because I know everybody's not watching every episode and sometimes I just want to make sure that they know that information or I like the information so much I'm going to say it again. But I will try not to be too repetitive, but enough so that everybody hears it once. And one thing I do repeat every time is inviting you to join Patreon. That is how I can keep this show going. So you can find that on my website, rehashfiber.com. And if you sign up to give just $3 a month, it helps keep everything going. And um, it, it's just a really fun show to do for you all. And another thing too is the merchandise. Don't forget, purchase something. It helps with the show. So thank you for that. So everybody, I believe that's it for today. So happy spinning, woolen or worsted. Thanks for watching.